Ladies and gentlemen, the last of our three preliminary bouts is scheduled in the heavyweight division, scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. As an amateur, he won his first 50 fights and went on to become a 2015 heavyweight champion. His professional record, 51 wins with 18 losses, 28 of those wins coming by way of knockout. Standing six feet, two inches tall, 1.88 meters. He weighed in at 227.4 pounds, 112.3 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of Duisburg, Germany, he is Vladimir Tor. His opponent fighting out of the white corner, set to make his third glory start after a successful debut in Glory 83 in Essen. His professional record, 25 wins, four losses, one draw, and four career knockouts. He stands six feet, two inches tall, 1.88 meters, and he weighed in at 293.4 pounds, 144.9 kilos. Fighting out of Morocco and ranked number eight in the Glory World Rankings, here is Nabil the Tank Kaha! The third man inside the glory ropes, your referee is Edward Stryker. Okay, guys, listen. We're fighting three rounds of three minutes. You know the glory rules. There is no standing eight count. Protect yourself at all time and listen to my command. Tough gloves if you want. Back to your corner. Vladimir Talk, Nabil Kashan. Judge, Judge Stein. Fight! Three rounds, heavyweight division. Just over 30 minutes to go until the start of Collision 5, coming up the top of the hour as these heavyweights are wasting no time. Ekahab opening up with some big punches, nice exchanges. Guys! With the big boys, you gotta start holding your breath. Fight! Hard jab there from top. Despite Kajab's massive size, his cardio is pretty unbelievable. Yeah, and he knows how to use his size to wear you down, keep pressing you, and just keep mixing these great combinations. I love how he mixes his uppercuts and his low kicks. Beautiful. He even hopped on one leg to deliver that low kick. Yeah, Coach Saeed from SB Gym is very good with combinations, level changes. Good body shot from Tok. The back. Talk said, listen, he's a big, fat guy, but he's not strong. I am strong, and I'll knock him out. We'll, we'll find out now. <laughs> you can say what you want back then, but Kahab's in there throwing back at you. A knee there from Vladimir Talk doesn't quite connect. Oh, punch the kick from Kaha, beautifully done. Break, watch out the elbow, fight! No elbows, of course, in glory. Hey, I'm liking this little footwork here. Right hand from Talk. Talk already breathing heavy. Yeah, Kahab's pressure will wear you out. As he counters back, he stays in your face, mixes levels, volume combination. It's not one punch power, but he's throwing four or five strike combinations. Four, yeah, there's your four hit combo. What would your target be on Kashab if you're tough? Where are you throwing your punches and kicks? Well, I'm looking for counter hooks. Oh, right really? here, he snaps that, that mouthpiece out, and Edward Stryker, the referee. Corner. You're su aren't you supposed Order. to let the action die down, then grab the mouthpiece? Well, no, I no. guess the timing of where it was, uh, Edward Stryker decided he's one of our most experienced referees. Turn around, please. Watch out, uh, keep him here. Tell Talk really appreciated that moment to catch his breath. Fight. But a great start to this fight for Kashan. Yeah, these combinations are fantastic. He's really opening up more, mixing his levels well. 
Good defense as well. Oh, Tommy was about to throw a switch kick. Oh, good body kick from Tom. Yeah, the Hob keeps walking forward, though. That's what Tok needs to do, try to put things in combination. But Kahab likes the counter. Break. And that'll do it for round one. Great start from the Moroccan. Yeah, Kahab, Kahab looking like a, a lightweight in there tonight, the way he's mixing his combinations. Here is the man known as the Tank, and yeah, he does work with kids with autism. Spoke with him about that yesterday. He really seems to enjoy it. Feels like he's making a difference in the community. And of course, we all salute that. Yeah, of course, I worked with kids in the past, so I salute to that. His opponent from Germany, Vladimir Tok, a veteran of kickboxing, MMA, and boxing. He's been all around the world, different sports, different organizations. But this was his dream to get here tonight. The pressure of Kahab has been the biggest difference in these combinations. They're just fantastic to see from, from a heavyweight. And not a small heavyweight from a big heavyweight like the Hobbit. It's that much more Protection. impressive. He's even jumping, spinning, uh, scissor knees. He's having fun. 293 pounder is the tank. Talk coming out hot. All five judges giving that to the bill. Oh, oh, legs. The legs are given out for Talk. Look at that speed of Kahab. Boy, he looked like Usain Bolt running over there. And he's just hammering down low. And again. That's what you call chopping the tree down. Right. The Chab only what? has four knockouts in his 25 wins. Oh, again, he keeps chopping. Good timing with that low kick. The foundation's still not good. Yeah, Kahab's going to have to go back to his boxing to get talk to sit there that's more success with the low kick set those kicks with punches right here now when he's heavy on the leg you go back after it Joe it's just so crazy that could chop and is in such good physical condition in, in such good cardiovascular condition can still weigh that much yeah and he's not even breathing heavy keep pressing that speed when he even has you hurt him Prounces right on you. Look at these combos. See, once he mixes his punches with his kicks, that's when he's gonna get that low kick finish. Kachab told us his goal right now is to get in that end of year tournament. Break. The Stop Glory back. Heavyweight Break. Grand Prix. All kinds of rumors of where that tournament's gonna be. Some big locations being mentioned. Nothing confirmed yet, but it will be the biggest card perhaps Glory's ever had. See what Kahab can do with the tired talk right now. Can he get back to that leg? Oh, coach. Talk being pretty one dimensional. He throws the one two. Yeah, that's why Kahab just sits there high guarded and just counters back with these wicked. Oi! Can't do that. Nice little foot sweep though. No sweep. No sweep. Fight! That was a tricky little sweep. I will say this, Tolk looked like he was going to go down at the beginning of the round, but he's managed to stay on his feet. Yeah, he's surviving the low kicks. But him being aggressive helps him. If he just waits, that when Kahab can put these combos, that's what he has to do, counter back. Keep pressing. If he's going to eat a low kick, at least put three, four punches back out. Just fire out of that shell. Break! Stop back. Guys, listen, let's go. If I say back. Fight! Oh, the out comes the mouthpiece again. I feel like they should have let that one go. Time. This is the second time. Make sure you watch Glory Events 24-7. All you could want, ladies and gentlemen, that's on Glory's new Fast Channels. Visit glorykickboxing.com for more information.
Black corner. One round to go, Joe. Nice. Vladimir Tok's got to do something dramatic. Yeah, he's got to look to counter. He's got to be first. But easier said than done that against the Kahab, who's on fire tonight. All the judges are in agreement. He's won both rounds. A hundred and eight total landed strikes for a 300 pounder. Yeah, maybe a little bit slowing down now, but still. The way he's putting things together, when he opens up, top checking now, he knows the low kick's coming after the punches. He faints there from Kahab. Now he got back to it. Checked the first one. Kahab said he ain't checking the second. Kahab would love to get a knockout on his resume in glory. Oh, they keep touching gloves. Talk almost gave him an overhand, right? Yeah, that body's wide open. Oh, Kahab. Loving the noises of Kahab. He's ready to go five rounds. Look at him. Oh, he oh big hey. left hook. Listen to me. Don't <laughs> gave him a little back. smile there. Fight. A little bit of swag coming from Kahab. <laughs> I like it. He doesn't think Tok can hurt him. And that's a good feeling, isn't it? Yeah. Nice high guard defense. Oh, nice on the way out the left. Yeah. Low Back kick again. Jeez. Imagine if you could get some power into this guy's gloves. Yeah. You got to think 22 years old. If he's the time he's 25, 26, even in his 30s. It's going to be amazing to see him develop from such a young age. If he can stay focused. So confident. Studying to be an architect. But too talented in kickboxing. Well, he's designed the perfect blueprint here tonight as Snot comes flying out of the nose Break. of Vic Vladimir Tok. Let go. Fight! Break, working nice against Level changing. Fight! SB Jim Style doing a great job with Kahab's combinations, his body shots, his low kicks. Break! Step back, guys. 20 Fight. seconds to go. What's more likely? Talk knocks down Kajab, Kajab knocks him out. <laughs> well, I think uh, it's going right down 10 seconds. I think it's just going to end with a blast. Break! Yeah, Tok is spent. Yeah. But give him credit, he went the distance. But tonight, belong to the Moroccan. No doubt about it. In the end, it was easy work for Nabil Kaka. We will make it official and hear from the Moroccan when we return. We welcome you back 20 minutes away from Glory Collision 5, but let's re. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes the distance, so we go to the judges' scorecard. Let's take a look at the totals. All five of our ringside judges see the bout and score the bout the same. 30-27, a unanimous decision. All for your winner, Nabil Kaha! I'm here with the fan favorite, Nabil Kahab. Man, it's got to feel good winning here in front of your fans in your first collision. Yes, I want to say, first of all, Alhamdulillah, I've won. Ruby, where is the tournament? Bring me that. I told you. Come on. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, I've won. It was a, it was a good job, but uh, always have to be better. Yes. Well, I was had to check a couple of times to check if you were a heavyweight or a lightweight with those combinations, the way you went at it. How did you rate your performance tonight? Uh, <laughs> I train with coach Said, and uh, we are working. So the combinations, it is his style, a little bit combination of my old gym. So it's good, it's good. And uh, props to Said. Well, I mean, you're nice getting a nice momentum here. Where do you see yourself going in here in this division and how fast do you want to move? Uh, real quick, because I want in the tournament. I want to go in the tournament. What I know, what I have now showed was uh, 
was a spectacular fight. But when you put me in the tournament with the heavy guys, bro, that's killing. All right, Rotterdam, let's hear it for your winner, the favorite here, Nabil Kaham. He's always got a smile on his face, too. He's a lovable 300-pounder. And he's got cardio for days. You get that guy in the tournament, he may not knock people out, Joe, but he might outlast them. Oh, yeah, he'll wear you down from start to finish. Talented, young. What surprised me, we're not understanding.